Have you been on the lookout for your one and only? Has your the one been a subject of your curiosity for long? You've seen it on TV and read all about the notion of love in the classic romance novels. Oh, sweet love. Falling in love is not always easy for some. Enter Rachel and Ross. It's important to state that there is no right or wrong way of knowing whether you're in love or when you may have found the love of your life. Remember Monica and Chandler? So how do we truly know when we found that special person whom we wanna be with for the rest of our lives? With that in mind, here are 10 signs that may mean that you have found the love of your life. Number one, your brain experiences changes. Yep, you heard that right. When you are in love and feel like you found the love of your life, you'll experience biochemical reactions. A study carried out at New York Stony Brook University suggests that altered biochemical reactions take place in your brain when you experience real love and genuine attachment. Ready for some biology? When you think about the one, you will experience a surge of dopamine, the happy chemical of your brain. So if you're feeling a rush of happy hormones when you're thinking about or around your partner, then this could be a good indicator that you may have potentially found the one. Number two, your pronouns may change. Ever been asked to attend an event or RSVP as a couple? How you respond makes a difference. Psychologists at the University of Texas found in their study that those who feel deeply connected to their significant other are more likely to use plural nouns, such as us and we, rather than singular me or I, when in conversations or when responding to others. If you notice an increased use of these pronouns when referring to your potential, the one, this could indicate a deeper connection with your partner. Number three, they're willing to fight for your relationship. In the words of good old Shakespeare, the course of true love never did run smooth. Mm. Research psychologist De Bourbon observes that what sets the one apart from the rest is a willingness to fight for the success of the relationship. Relationships are rarely without their share of difficulties. However, if you can work through relationship issues and repair the cracks, this shows both maturity and willingness to develop the relationship. Your willingness to resolve differences among you can be a sign that you might just have found the one worth fighting for. Number four, they'll show a willingness to compromise in the relationship. Ever heard the saying, struggle is the key to success? Well, in this case, it's more like sacrifice is the key to success. Just kidding. A study carried out by psychologists at Kobe University in Japan found that willingness to make certain sacrifices in the relationship was crucial for success. Relationships where this kind of behavior was absent or infrequent by either party were less likely to go the distance. If you find that you or your partner are happy to sacrifice and compromise to ensure a successful relationship without sacrificing your own morals or values, then this could mean that they are the one for you. Number five, they support you. According to psychological research, supporting each other's life dreams, including your long-term goals and ambitions, is a key component of a healthy and lasting relationship. Your the one should look up to you, admire you, and respect you. If your significant other demonstrates these factors, then they may well be the air quote, love of your life. Number six, they share a growth mindset. A growth relationship mindset includes beliefs and expectations that relationships develop, change, and grow over time. Research consistently finds that people who hold a growth mindset experience relationship benefits, including effective conflict management, constructive ways of dealing with relationship stressors, and can even buffer against relationship demise. Couples who grow together, stay together. Number seven, you are in sync with each other. How connected do you feel to your significant other? This includes being fully present with that person in both body and mind. According to psychologists, just sitting next to your, the one, for 15 minutes is enough for you to both sync up. Whoa, connections are usually felt when you feel seen, heard, valued, respected, and cherished by your partner. So if you feel that these factors are being met, this may mean that you have found the one for you. Number eight, your goals and values are aligned. Do you share similar tastes? values and goals with your partner. It's important to state that we don't have to necessarily be the same as our significant other in every sense. If some goals or values are not completely aligned, this does not mean that your partner is not the one for you. If you feel that you're working towards the same thing and have open discussions about what is important to you both, then this can be an indicator that they are potentially the one for you. Number nine, you have strong physical chemistry. 
There is no denying that having a tangible physical connection with your partner can suggest that they are the love of your life. Research states that sexual behaviors are a big contributor to a relationship longevity. In fact, it holds a couple together, especially in long-term relationships. So if you feel the urge to engage in sexual intimacy and physical contact with your partner regularly, they could be the one. And number 10, they understand your love language. It's also important for you to know each other's love language. Doing so leads to increased feelings of love and greater relationship satisfaction. This gives you the ability to communicate to your partner how to meet your emotional needs as well as best meet theirs. If you feel that your partner has a good understanding of your love language and can meet your emotional and communication needs, then this could indicate a good match. So do you recognize any of these signs? If so, do you think this video helped you identify them? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there looking for their one and only. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.